Hey guys, my name is Jack Fishman. I'm the Community Conservation Officer at Project Aware. I'm here at Rainbow Reef Dive Center in the beautiful Florida Keys. We just finished the Dive Against Debris with almost uh, 20 dive instructors and diver staff. Uh, the, the goal of this trip specifically was to take new staff who had not been present on Dive Against Debris before and actually give them the training necessary so that they can get involved and become enthusiastic about becoming Dive Against Debris divers, being better trained instructors, and do their part while on their dives to pick up marine debris and help us fight uh, this issue that we encounter underwater. So one of the reasons this is so important to us is that we are the biggest dive shop in North America now. This is a very big operation. Rainbow employs about 100 employees. We have plenty of people that want to get involved and go on these trips with us and it's really cool because um, once or twice a month we can run staff trips where it's a big boat of dive professionals that can go out. We can go deeper, we can go to places that we are not able to access all the time, we can go survey new sites, we can do all different kind of stuff just because of our staff and how many people we have that want to be involved and want to help clean up our home. One of the huge advantages of the fact that we run staff trips as well as these customer trips is we're often viewing those as an advanced trip or a sort of beginner oriented trip. So that means we're going to two very different depths for different types of dive plans. So the demographic of divers that we bring in, whether it's all staff or whether it's customers coming and volunteering their time to help out in these efforts means that we're cleaning in the water column very different areas. So we're able to send a group of staff members to do deep wreck cleanups where we might have a lot of monofilament on these heavily fished wrecks. And then we're able to take new divers or new dive against debris divers at least and go in the 40 to 45, 50 foot range and look for lobster traps and derelict things like that that are still out there uh, post Irma that we just haven't been able to locate yet until this point. So as a result, we feel that we're uh, committed and required to some extent to help with this effort. You know, we put so many divers in the water every single day that we need to be improving the impact divers have while they're underwater. So we feel that this is sort of one of our responsibilities is to help encourage divers to have proper buoyancy, high fins, streamline their equipment, those sort of things so they're not dragging and hurting the reef. And then once we get them through that initial stage if we're able to encourage them and intrigue them with these cleanup dives then they can come out and really help make a difference but we put so many divers in the water every single day that if we weren't doing anything we might be having a negative impact overall on the reef as a company so this is an easy way for us to focus on the problem at hand and how we can help it instead of contributing to the problem. Yeah. What you're able to accomplish when you combine the passion of a few staff with the abilities of reaching many more creates a really great phenomenon that other dive centers can uh, learn from. And when they're, you know, dive center this size can also reach out to other members of the community and make a positive impact for those as well. So we can not only affect positively those here at Rainbow Reef Dive Center, but the other members of the Florida Keys community can come and join you guys on these efforts and make a positive impact for the oceans as well. So if you want to get involved with our Dive Against Debris projects every third Friday of the month, we run a Dive Against Debris trip. We have boats dedicated to it. So if you call in advance and schedule that, you will be in the classroom in the morning with um, our conservation team learning about different techniques of grabbing debris and how all that works. And then in the afternoon, you're on the boat, um, picking up debris, learning how to separate debris, how to record debris, all that stuff for a relatively low price, about the price of one of our dive trips. Yeah, uh, for the price of a normal dive trip, if you have not done this specialty yet, you can participate in that morning lecture, the afternoon knowledge development, and then the dives itself, um, and you will earn that specialty dive against debris certification. And then if you're a returning customer with that certification, it's an extremely discounted price. Those trips come out to only $50, which is really nice. And we're able to do that due to our local sponsorships down here, which has been extremely beneficial in helping with our staff dive against debris, as well as our customer dive against debris to be able to run these trips free frequently, um, minimum once a month, and generally we're running one of these at least twice a month. Yeah. You can find us on all different kinds of social media. You can find us on Facebook, you can find us on Instagram, Twitter, YouTube. Check out our YouTube channel. We have all kinds of awesome videos. 
Um, you can find our event pages on Facebook. You can sign up for your own Dive Against the Breed trip.